I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even- Hey everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel Today's video is gonna be my everyday makeup routine Show this a cry on, I was alright on my own Till I fell Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a big fat thumbs up. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is moisturising our lips and our skin. For my lips, I'm using the Nivea Lip Balm and for my skin, I'm going to be using that Mario Badescu Rose Water Mist. For my eyebrows, I use the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the colour Espresso and I just brush through my brows with a spoolie and then I just fill them in. I start with the outline. Then I go in and I fill that like, the missing gaps. I really love the NYX eyebrow gel because I feel like it's the only product I've ever used that makes sure my eyebrows don't come off during the day. Okay, so I actually use two concealers to conceal my eyebrows. The first is the LA Pro Girl Concealer. This is actually a lighter shade and I use that for under my eyebrows. The second is the Makeup Revolution Concealer and that's my skin shade and I use that on top. I gave you all the true me. This is because I really hate that halo effect on eyebrows. I like my eyebrows to look really natural and really seamless. To blend out my concealer, I use this Morphe brush. I really like this brush because not only is it super soft on my skin, but it really blends out my concealer seamlessly so that there's no streaks on it. You was just a no habit, so I'ma disappear like magic. I'm that bitch and I have it. Now it's prime time. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer to make sure that my makeup stays on all day long. This primer gets really tacky on my skin, which helps my foundation to stick to my face. Oh, I also use the NYX Pore Filler to create that really smooth blood effect on my face. Personally, I don't know about you guys, but I love to look glowy at all times. So I'm taking this Body Shop Drops of Gold Illuminator and I realised that I may have put too much on but I still made it work. I just made sure that I massaged it properly into my skin. I'm going to be colour correcting the dark areas around my mouth with my LA Pro Girl Orange Colour Corrector and blending that out of my Beauty Blender. Now onto foundation. I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this is hands down one of my favourite foundations of all time. I love the effect it has on my skin. This foundation is true to its name in the sense that it really does make you look like you were born this way. It's a really natural, medium to full coverage foundation. I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always had my own bag, never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on, I was alright on my own With this Body Shop Buffing Brush, I'm just making sure there's no fine lines or streaks in my foundation because I want it to look smooth To conceal my face, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm putting that all over the areas I feel need to be brightened So obviously we know that's under the eyes, the nose, the forehead the chin. I put a lot on my forehead because I have a really small forehead so I want it to look bigger as possible and I leave that for about 15 seconds so it gets a bit tacky then spray my beauty blender and just blend that out concealer on my contour area to make it snatched. Now to set I'm using my favourite setting powder and that's the Laura Mercier setting powder and I just press that into everywhere I've put my concealer including my um, like cheekbones as well just to make sure that my contour is as defined as possible. That's why I'm saying goodbye Hopping now my feelings get to the money Gotta keep it a hundred Leaving you ain't really took nothing from me So don't come looking for me 
I'm that bitch and I have it. I actually don't contour. Well, I don't use a contour palette to contour. I use a bronzer. And the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer is my favorite, favorite, favorite bronzer of all time. I don't use anything else. And they've actually discontinued it. So that's really, really upsetting. But this is my holy grail. Not only does it make me look snatched, but it also makes my face look really, really warm. I use the same product to contour my nose. Just to create the effect of like a button nose and to make my nose look less wide. For blush, I'm using the NYX Ombre Blush and I love using blush for everyday makeup looks because I feel like it just makes your face look rosy and youthful. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I feel like blush just takes my makeup to the next level. I feel like it just adds that va boom. So you look simple but not basic, you feel me? And to make that look even more sharp, I'm taking in the same beauty blender from before and carving that out because I like my blush to like not be all over. I still like it to look sharp with the bronzer. I use the Makeup Revolution Go Fix Spray to get rid of ashiness and to also set all of my makeup into place before I go in at the end with my final setting spray. Instead of waiting for the setting spray to dry with my hands, I'm gonna upgrade, I'm gonna use my fan because you know we, we elite over here. This hack saves me time and energy. To prep for my false lashes, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm just putting that on. I have baby lashes, my lashes are pretty much non-existent but I just like to use the mascara as like a coating base before I put on any lashes whatsoever as for lashes I'm using these lashes from Primark actually they were a fiver and they're part of the Sosu collection and these are in the style Milan the Morphe Set and Mist is hands down by far my favourite set and mist I've ever used I like how it comes out as like an actual mist rather than like a wet you know, like, it feels like raindrops on your face sort of thing. For highlight, I'm taking the Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm using the colour at the bottom right. And I'm putting that obviously on my cheekbones, my nose, under my eyebrows, on my upper lip as well. Just to make me look a bit glittery. I know it's everyday makeup, but I still like to glow. Like, who doesn't like to glow? I like me better, I like me, I like me better when I was yours. I'm using this Morphe lip gloss, but before I put on any lip gloss, I like to line my lips. And I'm lining my lips with this Hair Shop eyebrow pencil, but I don't use it on my eyebrows, I use it for my lips, because I really like the exact shade of brown, and it creates a really, really nice ombre effect when you put a lip gloss on on top. So today I'm using the Morphe, but sometimes I might use my Fenty as well, and it comes out so nice and super natural. That's why I'm saying goodbye, hopping out my feelings, get to the money, gotta keep it a hundred. Well, there you have it. That is my finished everyday makeup routine for 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I'll see you all very soon. Yours truly, Bows. But all I gotta say back is If I gotta choose me I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you Oh, 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 oh,